Matano and perinatal death surveillance and response is a critical approach for improving quality of care for maternal and neonatal health. Dr. Diana Twine, the permanent secretary at the Ministry of Health, highlighted the need for more financial support for maternal health for better outcomes. Last year, we released our results where we had made great strides in reducing maternal and child deaths. And you remember that we had been at about 333 and then it reduced 189 per 100,000 deliveries. Of course, 189 per 100,000 is still a big number. But I must say that as far as Africa is concerned and the Caribbean, I think we are doing, we have made such a big stride. Health experts from different countries noted that the practice of maternal and perinatal death surveillance and response facilitates target implementation of evidence-based interventions to address the underlying causes of maternal death. Each and every death has to matter. Each and every death counts. We have to review and go backwards to the root so that we are able to know what is really causing these deaths, then we are able to put uh, a response and a response means we are addressing some of these issues. So that is why for WHO, WHO has supported to bring all these countries together to do that. So despite all the improvements we've seen, we're still having challenges of integrated approaches on reducing maternal and perinatal mortality. So this particular meeting uh, see, uh, has seen us invite various stakeholders, including our friends from Sehard, uh, who have been supporting in a case that has changed the landscape for maternal and perinatal deaths. Uh, from that one case, we've seen the health system improve through accountability. Health practitioners endorsed maternal and perinatal death surveillance and response as an instrumental tool to inform advocacy, policy, planning, service delivery and accountability to end preventable maternal and neonatal mortality. So we have handled cases of violations where maybe a mother has died or a child has died maybe due to gaps in the health system but in all of this we have seen positive outcomes because some cases against Mlago hospital have seen cameras installed we have seen babies now are tagged we have seen that there are bereavement corners where they handle mothers they don't take them back to the general ward but they are cancelled so all of our litigations against government against the ministry have yielded a lot how we understand human rights and legal framework in the context of national laws, national constitutions, why is it uh, improving health system is a matter of right to life, right to health. And it's not only about in the law. Law matters because it brings together the intersectional accountability. Zahra Abigaba, UBC News.